just me. So, Lil May, uh, what you been thinking about this year of games so far? Because Summer Games Fest wasn't really, wasn't really it. I do want to give some shout outs. Metaphor, Reef Fantasio, look fun. Slitterhead was interested. Phantom Blade, Zero. I did like it. Monster Hunter Wilds, even though we knew about three of those. But those don't, those were interesting trailers. We got no gameplay. And the one problem I'm noticing that we haven't is that every time I watch one of these game shows now, mm-hmm. it's like a 75 year old man or an 80 year old woman announcing the game. Hold on. There was a sister girl that hosted this, right? Yeah, shout out to her. She was like the other, in the other. Then you got like this dude who looks like every dude has ever been on IGN and, or G4. <laughs> and he always hosts, and they find a new one that looks exactly like they got the same haircut and everything. They just host a show with the same like goofy content from the 90s. And everybody like, yo, bro, it's 2000. Why is Casting That Night there introducing it? Why are you not using streamers who are popular to introduce your game instead of some 80 year old woman who looks like in a Colton Banks? Gear. Shout out to Phantom Blade Zero. That man in Phantom Blade Zero about 80 years old introducing the game. And I'm like, bro, this doesn't look fun. And all you're giving me are trailers. I know nothing about anything you're talking about. All I'm getting is trailers from games that I really ain't been. And half of it was indie games because PlayStation mm. and Xbox then took their own direct, called, taking place of Nintendo after Nintendo did their own direct. Now PlayStation had their direct a few weeks ago. Now oh, Xbox yeah. got theirs tomorrow. So now yeah. nobody wants to do Summer Game Fest, and now you get all the great games separated. So you get two games from each system. Maybe you're excited about that might work, might not work. Like you get God of War, Spider Man from PlayStation. You don't really care about nothing else if they come out with it because this generation of console ain't had that many hits. <laughs> so outside of the one that's on everything like Elden Ring and stuff like that, but you ain't really had that many hits. So you get the one or two games a year. Like for instance, like last year, Xbox had Starfield. Might not have worked out as well. As- even though it's still it's all right game, but just they waited way too long to fix half the problem they had. Like you don't want to go to space and fly forty minutes just to get to another place. Boring. But that's just my thing. But again, you only get one or two games at each thing, and then you don't care about the rest of the games they show. And it kind of hurts because when you had E3 at its core, all the two or three games would be the same show. So not mm-hmm. just have the one or two, and now you're like, oh, I was excited about that one game I saw. And you just had, mm. you had two hours of the rest of the games that you did not care about. So I think they do have like a functioning issue. <laughs> definitely a little song. Definitely a little song. Unico Williams, do you share his sentiment with the uh, Summer Games Fest and them in general? This is what I can share about the Summer Fest. First of all, the chat is so funny. I love live <laughs> chats. They are hilarious. And y'all should do that on our show right now. Like, if you're watching right now, live chat. But they all said, wrap it up. L, L, L. Wrap it up. L, L. That was the whole chat. The whole couple of hours. And I thought it was hilarious. Uh, actually, Afrokami, our, uh, our senior analyst when it comes to <laughs> games uh like honestly he just said it he, he 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 dropped a bar um like yes this was an indie showcase right is that what y'all feel like like I, am i wrong i'm i'm i'm, I'm i mean open to the interpretation with the exception too, of right? a, a couple of things that we already knew about okay fair enough yeah Basically, all thing I saw new with Phantom Blade Zero, and I don't, I might have been already released, but I ain't heard of it. But that's you it. know what was, what was funny to me is that, um, I had a lot of shit going on yesterday, and the thing is that like I started from the beginning of the IGN stream, and they were showing like all of the things that they were basically about to show us again. Uh, so it's like you know Silent Hill and all that type of stuff. It, it but I think. Like, and I'm good. I'm like remakes and, and whatnot, but like I'm good with fine, fair, whatever. But y'all showed this before the show started. And so, kind of where, where I'm at with Summer Game Fest is this stop. <laughs> just it's over. <laughs> it's just like E3. Like we used to love E3. And then actually, I was looking on my Snapchat because we actually did a show about E3 ending. They said that they're done. We did a show. And that's essentially what's happened. Summer Game Fest 
they put all that money together and they got all these people in probably like pretty cute seats and all that type of stuff. It's over with, man. Like, just like E3, it's over with. Like, everybody's doing their own individual thing. Sony's going to do their state of play. Xbox is going to it's going to die soon, but they did their thing. Yeah. And that's that's just what it is at this point. Like, that's where we're at. That's where we're at. Everybody's doing their own individual thing and trying to make their money off of what they want to do, and it is what it is. That's what I got from Game Fest, and it's a whole bunch of indie games that are about to be nineteen ninety nine, wherever you download them from. You're such a mean person. Oh uh, no, that's me. I'm being mean. Oh, oh, oh. They hold on. Also, also, there's one more point. Shout to Toy. They, they showed us some trailers from shows. Thanks. <laughs> Among Us TV show coming out soon. This Thank should you. not be a thing. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> this should not be a thing, bro. <laughs> Thank you. We appreciate that there's going to be a show. I'm just not sure how it's going to be a game. How, how it's it's gonna be a show. Like when you do, they don't talk, so is it going to give like it could be cool if they had like the director of like Courage the Cowardly Dog? Because you know there wasn't a lot of dialogue in that show, but make it suspenseful. Well, you know they kill you. You're trying to kill some people, like on Among Us, and so so if you went that way, like I feel like that would snap because it's already kind of creaky. No, it's it's like I creepy. Miss, Miss like, when was the last time you played Ebony, Among I, Us, Miss Ebony? I prom- I, I apologize. I won't talk anymore. Does it remind you of like maybe you should get the director of Death Note? Or like, you know what I'm saying? Something no, like, like, I oh, want or, the director. Or, no, I want the director of Courage because <laughs> first off, first off, there's no dialogue in Among Us on the game. So the fact that there is so little dialogue in Courage, the Cowardly Dog, I think that that will cross over well because they did a good job of making it creepy. I just recently rewatched an episode of Courage, and I and I was like, I'm 33 Which years one? old, and this shit is still creepy. The Which one, one with the damn chicken, the damn the one with the damn chicken and the <laughs> creepy. Head and, yeah, like the shit is still creepy, and so you the whole point of the game is to like get away with killing everybody on the damn ship and stuff so there's like a creepy element to it that i feel like would play well where you can still have like the lack of dialogue and still make it as nerve-wracking as it is when you're when the lights go out in the room and you're trying to finish a task and you hoping that your friend next to you ain't about to end your life so i think it can be done it just needs the right director but i digress when it comes to the game no don't do it night don't do that because that's gonna bring they're gonna it's about, it's about to become a multiverse. Yo, that one there was a violation personally. I wouldn't have that. And if- that gets a violation for that. No, <laughs> got it. Mr. Hicks knows what's up. Shout out to Courage. But when it comes to the games, you know, I had this conversation because we were gonna do an episode on E3 or wifey views a long time ago, and it ended up getting scratched. And I posed the question, though, to the ladies, because you, y'all you know I'm not a, a gamer anymore. I don't claim to be. Now, you want to see me on a throwback system? That's something different. But now, not so much. But something that I had said was that I feel like E3, it, obviously, it was affected by the pandemic. But after that, I think that the reason that it wasn't as popular is because me personally, as a person that is not already into a whole bunch of games, the point is to not only keep your, your players, but to bring in new people that are going to consume your product. And I just felt like there is a lack, there's been a lack over the years of very interesting and fun new games where I feel like everything is a lot of a, a continuation. And so I could be wrong because I'm not a gamer. But a lot of the things that I hear people talking about that people are in love with have been out for a while. Stuff like um, God of War and uh, Elden Ring and stuff like that. These games aren't new. So we're getting newer versions, but they're not a new franchise. And so pulling new stuff and getting you interested, I just don't think they're making it. I think the game community, like the game 
realm is starting to become like the movie the movie realm where we're just kind of rebooting the stuff that we know works and we're not bringing in a whole lot of new things because even once we do we've seen that a lot of things aren't holding the same type of consistent popularity over time you know the 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 game that was similar to like the pokemon or whatever like i don't remember the name right now um because i watched they may play it once on twitch but that game had all this hype around it and then people started to stop talking about it in a month there there's been a couple of games that have come out that were like that where it's like oh it's so popular and the people that love it stick with it but everybody else it just it ends up on the the free page and shit or the or the monthly sales page and stuff so i just think well, that's that with the TikTok mindset once we beat the game we don't care about it no more well, I don't even think it's that because I don't think people are even continuing to stick with that. Even with Among Us, Among Us is still extremely popular to the people that love it. But you don't hear people talk about it anymore. But when it first came out, you couldn't go anywhere or talk about games. You didn't hear anything that didn't include like Among Us. People were cracking jokes about Among Us. People were playing Among Us. I was playing Among Us like a crazy person during the pandemic. Like it was insane. So I, I just feel like that's probably one of the reasons why we were given such a kind of snooze fest of a summer games. I don't think that it is the show itself. It's the quality of games that they are putting out now. They're just not that great. The Elden Ring Shadow of the Earth Tree cut, drops in 13 days. Doesn't compare. Don't don't compare to power. No, I didn't. I'm Do you believe in compared any of these games? Hey, Corey, I didn't. Corey, I didn't. Corey, do, do not say do not the Elden Ring, Ring with nothing else. Okay. He, it don't matter. No, how you but you see, it. I didn't compare it to Power World. I said don't, when you think don't. about how popular Power World when it was when it came out, for us to then not talk about it like in, in a month, mm. but then you have stuff like Elden Ring that has been out and has um, maintained its popularity. It's no different than it's recency bias. Like we we see there, we see something, we gravitate towards it. We're like, oh, this is the greatest game, just like we do with anime. And then in a couple of weeks or as time goes on, something else comes along that you're into or you just decide to go back to your oldie but goodie because it's great. There's a lot of people out here that are replaying games that they've already beaten instead of starting new games. Well, in that I instance, wonder if it's because I'm getting old. Like you're not, but you're not the only gamer though. Like there's there's a bunch of kids out there Oops, that are playing and they feel the exact same way. I don't know what happened to Hollywood Sensei. We may have lost them. But in that um, instance, I guess we can go ahead and ask. We'll ask Miss Ebony Moon, me as she's up here in the rest of the panel before we go to Black Bad Boys. Because next year will be one of the biggest years in gaming as of recent history, at least in the last 10 years, with the release of things like Monster Hunter Wilds, possibly a another Nintendo console, and of course, Grand Theft Auto 6, among other things. Do we need to just throw this year away and just call this year a failure in gaming? You know, we've already had some stinkers, like Suicide Squad, you know, the biggest games are like indie blast out games, like Helldivers 2 and Power World. Do we just need to just throw this throw this year away in gaming already, just throw it away in June and be done with it? No, to be before, honest, before I you can't. Get into that, before you get into that, I just want to say, that, that's the Monster Hunter. There's the slayer right here. She is slayed today. Do y'all see that, y'all? Oh, thank you. Thank you. Um, I if I am answering honestly, as I stated before, I don't game a whole lot, so I don't feel like I can necessarily say throw it away because I haven't tested a whole bunch of new games that came out this year to to say that and not come across as just someone that's like, yeah, if y'all agree, throw it away. Like if y'all want to keep it cool, because it doesn't really hold any weight for me one way or the other. Um, I do believe that the upcoming year is going to be more enticing. I can honestly say as someone that enjoys Grand Theft, I'm looking for that and stuff like that. So I, but there's been nothing really outside of the handful of random, just like you said, kind of, they're not necessarily indie games. I think Gang Beast was kind of more indie, but like the Disney um, racing game and stuff like that, like, it's not indie because it's Disney, but it's still it's still not huge. And then we got MK and all that shit like that. Like, I don't think that there was anything that I saw advertised where I was like, oh, yeah, I definitely have to play this. I have to check this out, especially with having two co-hosts that are gamers and people saying you should do gaming content and shit like that. Me getting a new system and looking through the thing, I was like, none of this looks like something I would gravitate towards, especially as someone that is just 
getting back into gaming. So I, I don't really have an opinion fully on if it should be thrown away or not. Nico Williams, should we throw it away? No, y'all, Daniel, we finna get it. We finna get to it, Daniel. It's it's gonna be tough, man. Like I think I think honestly, it's all gonna be tough. We back. There we go. I got y'all hit y'all with me. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um. Yeah. So like my thing is it's man. Do y'all remember X Play? The TV channel. Yeah. The like no like the show. It was called X Play, right? Yeah. The TV show. Yeah. Yeah. And I used to be so happy on Saturdays watching that. Like, and he was telling us, two magic, two magic, two magic. Like, while they were cosplaying RPGs. I enjoyed that. And at this point, everything is so divided because there's going to be people that are going to be PC people. There's going to be people that are PlayStation people or Sony people. Let's, let's say Sony. And there's going to be Microsoft people. And then that's all the things that are going on, right? And I just think they just need to just let everybody cross play, right? Extended play. No, it's X, yeah, X play, extended play. Absolutely. I, the gaming community needs to come together. <laughs> like, <laughs> like, 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 like all, everything. Just come together. Because, this is when I found out how divided everything was because Diablo 4 came out. I bought it. I've never played Diablo ever in my life, right? And I'm just playing it and people are doing random things. I don't know. Thanks for helping me beat this beast. I didn't know what was going on. So with that being said, like, I, I just think the gaming community needs to stop like dividing itself. They need to come together, right? That's what I believe. And if they come together, then like the I, I believe that developers will continue to make things that will make it because everybody wants the same thing. Oh, it's almost like American politics. If just oh, everybody definitely. would just pick a side and just choose to choose the better good. Hollywood, welcome back, my good friend. So we give the stage to you. The question I had posed is, you know, because, you know, we have summer games, snooze, not really mm-hmm. a lot looking at this year. You know, the best ones have been indie and pop out stuff like Power World, um, uh, Hell Divers 2, you know, for example. And then next year is going to be so big with stuff like Grand Theft Auto 6, Monster Hunter Wild, maybe like a new Nintendo console, stuff like that. Should mm-hmm. we just throw this year away and just be done with it? And just say you know this year in gaming is just basically gonna be a flop and just go to the next. Should we just throw it away? Including Not the bad. I didn't answer that question. I'm, I apologize. The floor is yours. <laughs> Should we throw it away? <sighs> let me let me keep it a buck. Are y'all not excited for Lego Horizon? You you're not excited for that? Here he go. Here he Why goes. did you have something the troll wrong? God himself. Himself. You, you you ain't you ain't excited for Lego Horizon? Like come on, man. Oh. Trolling Hollywood. It's but like no, a game agree. that we're not mad at, but we didn't need. I do agree with several points, though. I do agree with Zelme when he said that, you know, you got too many streamers out here that are huge. And a lot of these gaming platforms or whatever developers, you aren't using those people to your advantage. Like, you know what I mean? You should be having those people promote and play your game so you can, you know, further your fan base and whatnot. Now, I also I agree with Afrocomi. The gaming community will never come together because we literally have people out here who are up in you know in an uproar, all this calamity because we have a black protagonist about to be on Assassin's Creed. So if we can't get past that, there's no way the whole community is coming together if you can't see past uh, an actual historical black figure that existed in Japan and you're mad about him becoming a protagonist. As, as long as we have those type of problems still occurring, the gaming community will never come together. That's that's not happening. You know what I mean? Now, well, and we like friction too. So yeah, the con the console be- war is always going to be a thing too because right. there's always going to be people that love something specific and they're going to fight to the death to defend it. And then there's other people that just like being trolls and being online and just being extra and saying, 
oh, I'm team this, I'm team that, when, like, good for you. Uh, right. If you don't mind, can you put a poll up or something uh, in regards to the console wars right now? Who's actually winning or losing? Ain't nobody. Ain't no games coming out. <laughs> I mean, shout out to the uh, but to answer the, the overall question, it's about make game pass. Just I, don't, I don't think you should scrap this year because we still got. I don't care what nobody say. The game of the year is coming out in about a month, so yeah, you know I mean NCAA twenty five. Well, yeah, once that drum <laughs> drops, you might you might not even see me on I screen when that drum. Like I might not even be doing my podcast when that drum come out because no, I am playing I'm that. Be on that drum. Like I've been waiting for I got a, a new, I've been waiting for another you, NCAA who you, to drop. Who you playing game. with, Hollywood? Well, I mean, I'm an LSU fan, so I'm rocking with LSU. Fair you enough. I mean? I'm Ohio but, State up here. I am. I am going to see what Colorado about though. I'm. A, I'm gonna do a dynasty with the. With you gonna Colorado. try to try to do something with Shador? Yeah, I'm yeah. Gonna, I'm, I'm, gonna I'm, gonna I'm gonna be on PS5 too. You almost only need Xbox for that, but yeah. I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do a dynasty, but no, don't. I, I don't think. <laughs> don't oh, scratch 2024. Oh, no Don't scrap 2024, Monrea. I think it's still games that's coming out for selective, you know, whatever fan base of gaming that you are in, whether it's sports, adventure, RPG, fighting, whatever. Excuse me. There's a game that's about to release for you. You know what I mean? Like I said, the NCAA is coming out. They about to drop the, the DBZ Sparkling Zero, John. Oh, like, yeah, I mean, you know, so it's 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 a couple, it's a, you know, it's, it's a few good joints that's going to come out. Now, the games that they premiered on the, as they say, the Summer Lane Fest or the Snooze Fest, you know, if you an indie nigga, you fucks with it. You know what I mean? Indie gamers are still out there. You know what I mean? You know. Now, I'm, I'm just, to answer Mr. Hicks' question, I'm just a sports fan, so I just like sports. I understand that Madden and 2K have been copying and pasting the same game for the past decade. You know what I mean? But I don't care because I like basketball, I like football, so I'm going to continue to play the games. But I do want them to fix this shit, though. Like, I mean, it's so much that could be added to Madden and 2K that y'all are not adding because you don't want to spend money. But it'll make you more money if you put it into the game, which, you know, I don't understand EA like giving them the cards so they can keep playing it. They make a lot of money off this. They don't care. Yeah, as long as them niggas still spending money on Ultimate Team, they don't give a fuck. They gonna yeah, keep giving you the okay. <laughs> they gonna keep giving you the same game because you, yeah, you know I mean, but because I like sports, that's why I'm excited for the EA. I mean, for the NCAA. Like, I mean, I'm a I'm a fo- I'm a football fan. Like, you know, so. But yeah, that's my take. Don't scrap 2024. It's still some good games that's coming out. Like I said, whatever genre of gaming you like, there's probably a game that's coming out that you won't fuck with. So, you know what I mean? Keep it going. Keep it pushing. I do, I do got one thing I do want to say before we move on, because I see the people want to talk about Bad Boys 4. But we'll get to it. We're about to I, do, I, I do want to say this. Yo, make complete games, please. <laughs> I am very <laughs> tired of y'all adding on to games a year, for three, four years. Why does ESO need a new gold role instead of just making a new game? Why do we, ha- it's been too long. Just make a new MMO. Make something cool. Do something else. <laughs> Run around. Why is, Why are we doing remakes of old games repeatedly? Why do we need a remake of every game that ever came out every year, director's cut? Why has Skyrim got five versions? I get it, it's popular. We know they, that's what they make mods for. <laughs> Why do y'all just keep adding games? Why is Cyberpunk took a year for it to do right before it actually got popular? Had to make a cartoon to bring it back, anime to make it back. Why do we gotta do? Why do y'all just not make the game complete? Wait a year. If you took you a year to fix, just fix the game. Why it took a year for you to get vehicles to start playing? Nobody want to run on an empty moon for eighteen <laughs> minutes with no with nowhere to play. That's why they stopped playing. It has potential, but I have to run eighteen minutes to get to a space station. You wonder why people quit. It's fun when you get into it and monsters jumping your ship, but it take me 18 minutes to get to them. Yeah, Ghost of Shishima just got a director's cut. Why do we need that? Just make a Ghost of Shishima 2. No, we just got to make money off it because it's easy. All right. Thank you. 